Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 592. The category is amusement and theme parks. This is a 21-question trivia quiz about different amusement parks and theme parks in America. This is not worldwide. There won't be any amusement parks in a random foreign country. These are all major American theme parks. Good luck. Question 1. Located in Jefferson, New Hampshire since 1953, what is the name of the theme park with over 20 rides, most of them being Christmas or winter themed names such as Rudy's Rapid Transit Coaster and The Great Humbug Adventure? That park is Santa's Village. Question 2. Before 2005, the only attraction was the cave tours, but after a major expansion and adding zip lines, swing rides, and North America's first alpine coaster, Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park in what state is now America's only mountaintop theme park? The answer is Colorado. Question 3. Lamar Hunt, the founder and owner of the NFL's Kansas City Chiefs, also founded two parks in Kansas City. What is the name of the theme park that is attached to the water park that is called Oceans of Fun? The theme park is Worlds of Fun. Question 4. Located in the Knoxville Smoky Mountains Metroplex in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, what is the name of the theme park jointly owned by the Hershen Family Entertainment and a popular country music star for whom the park is named? The answer is Dollywood. Question 5. Walt Disney's first theme park, a $17 million metropolis of nostalgia, fantasy, and futurism, was built on 160 acres of former orange groves and opened on July 17, 1955 in what U.S. state? Disney's first park was Disneyland in California. Question 6. What is the name of the popular California destination that, over 100 years ago, started as a small family farm and soon grew into a world-renowned theme park? They must not have even changed the name. It is Knott's Berry Farm. Question number seven. Based on one of the original attractions when Disney opened its first park in the 50s, what is the title of the 2021 movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Emily Blunt? The movie and the attraction is called Jungle Cruise. Question number 8. Located on 61 acres of the Indian Point Peninsula of Table Rock Lake, very close to Branson, Missouri, what 1880s style amusement park opened on May 1st, 1960 and contains over 40 thrilling rides and attractions? The answer is Silver Dollar City. Question 9. 
The first one opened in Billund, Denmark in 1968. The second opened in Windsor, England in 1996. And the third location of what toy-based theme park opened in Carlsbad, California in 1999? The answer is Legoland. Question number 10. First opened in Texas in 1961 and with over $1.5 billion in revenue in 2019, what is the name of the world's largest regional theme park company with 27 parks across the United States, Mexico, and Canada? The answer is Six Flags. Question 11. As of 2020, it is Oklahoma's only amusement park. What is the name of the old-timey park featuring over 40 acres of roller coasters, family rides, and entertainment located just outside Oklahoma City? The answer is Frontier City. Question number 12. In 2003, Disney made a live action film based on what classic Disney Parks attraction? A dark themed park ride that takes guests through a house of spooky characters while riding aboard a doom buggy. The answer is the Haunted Mansion. Question 13. Initially developed as marketing vehicles for the company that owns and distributes Budweiser, what is the name of the amusement parks that still today famously feature stables for the company's Clydesdale horses? The answer is Bush Gardens. Question 14. Which theme park at Walt Disney World is represented by Spaceship Earth and is dedicated to the celebration of human achievement, namely technological innovation and international culture, and is often referred to as a permanent World's Fair? The answer is Epcot. Question 15. Two indoor amusement parks universes are located at the retail complexes in Minnesota and New Jersey and consist of attractions and rides based on popular franchises from what popular kids television channel? That channel is Nickelodeon. That place is called the Nickelodeon Universe. Question 16. What is the name of the 364-acre amusement park located on a Lake Erie Peninsula in Sandusky, Ohio that was opened in 1870 and is considered the second oldest operating amusement park in the United States? Cedar Point is the second oldest operating amusement park. Question 17. The oldest continuously operating amusement park in the United States is located in Connecticut, opened in 1846, spans 332 acres, and includes a beach and a water park called Crocodile Cove. What is the name of this park? The answer is Lake Compounds. Question 18. 
The other theme park located in Orlando, Florida, what is the name of the park that opened to the public in 1990 and is primarily themed to movies, television, and other aspects of the entertainment industry? The answer is Universal Studios. Question 19. What is the name of the water-based dark ride attraction at Disneyland, Magic Kingdom, Tokyo Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris that is the basis for the highly successful film series of the same name? That water ride and the water movie is Pirates of the Caribbean. Question 20. What is the name of the animal theme park, oceanarium, and marine mammal park that after years of controversy have begun to put more emphasis on their animal rehabilitation and conservation efforts than their theatrical whale shows? The answer is, of course, SeaWorld. Ever since that documentary came out a few years ago, SeaWorld has done a lot to kind of clean up their name. They've focused a lot on their conservation stuff, they do a lot of animal rehab, and they've toned down their, especially their killer whale theatrical shows. That's what everybody had a big problem with, so still kind of an iffy situation but at least they're doing something to make it a little bit better. As long as they keep getting better and uh, keep improving the park and treating their animals a little bit better, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Anyways, if you watch this entire trivia quiz and you are not chomping at the bit like I am to go on a nice long road trip to all of these 20 well, in a little bit, 21 different theme parks across America. I don't know what's wrong with you, because as I was looking up these questions, I was finding pictures of theme park food, and I was seeing roller coaster videos, and I was finding all this fun information, and it really made me want to go start planning a theme park road trip immediately. Maybe next year. I mean, I might plan it immediately, and maybe I'll plan it for next year you got to do the theme parks in the summer that's not I think that's a rule anyways here's question 21 the tiebreaker for amusement and theme park trivia this is a good one what is the name of the family who opened a theme park and named it after their family in 1906 originally as a leisure park for employees of the company also named after their family located in the city of Pennsylvania, that was also named after their family. So you got three things here. Name of the family who opened a theme park and named it after their family. It was originally a leisure park for employees of the company named after their family. And it's located in the city in Pennsylvania that is also named after their family. You probably know it. Maybe it's slipping your mind right now, but once I say it, you're going to go, oh, duh. Five, four, three, two, one. Question 22. Time's up. The answer, the name of that family, is Hershey from the Hershey Candy Company. Located in Hershey, Pennsylvania, it was the Hershey Company, and the name of the park is Hershey Park. Very interesting, very impressive to have a three-pack like that. Hershey, Hershey, Hershey. Good job, Hershey's. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend. Check back tomorrow for another new 21-question trivia quiz.